Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So today we are going to talk about access packages. So Entity Management introduces uh, to Azure AD the concept of access packages. Uh, an access package is a bundle of all resources with uh, access and user needs to work on a project or to perform the task. Access packages are used to govern access uh, for your internal employees as well as uh, users outside your organizations. So you can also manage uh, Azure AD security groups and uh, 365 groups teams as well as uh, SharePoint online sites. And even access packages uh, can include one or more policies. So this is a basic glance of uh, access uh, packages. Let's go ahead and jump uh, into the practical stuff. So as usual, just go to the Azure Active Directory, which you can see here. And inside this, you can see identity governance. Click that. And here you can see the access package and catalogs. So let's go ahead and create catalogs. Here you can see a uh, create a new catalog button. Click it. So in this case, I'm uh, creating a sales catalog, let's say. Okay, so and uh, you can enable for the external users and uh, uh, I'm just keeping it default. Let's create it. So the sales catalog has been created. Let's go ahead and click it. So you can see different options, resource access packages. Uh, in this case, let's go ahead and uh, create resources. So resources. And uh, in these resources, you can see there is a button called uh, add resources. Uh, click the resources. And uh, you can see you can also add uh, groups or teams or applications or uh, SharePoint sites. Uh, in this case, I'm going to add a group, uh, groups and teams. So let's uh, click that. So in this case, I'm going to add sales group. Let's say let's add. Uh, OK, so let's add this sales group into this uh, catalog. So I'm only adding this uh, one particular group. So let's go ahead and add it. And I have also, okay, I have added it. And uh, you can also go to access packages and you can create an access packages. So inside this access package, you can also create a resources so right now I'm just not clicking. Uh, you can you can check the process. You can uh, add the resource roles and so on. But in this case, I'm just leaving it default. I'm just adding uh, uh, resources, and you can also add roles and administrators. Uh, so as you can see, there are no roles. So let me add uh, one catalog role, uh, the catalog owner or you can add a catalog reader or uh, access package manager or access package uh, assignment manager. So in this case, I'm going to create a catalog owner. In this case, I'm giving a owner for test two and select. So it's done. So as you can see, the role of uh, test two is a uh, catalog owner. So this is how uh, you can uh, create your catalog and resource inside that particular catalog. And you can also edit it by going to overview. And you can edit, uh, edit if you want anything. In this case, I'm not editing anything. So this is how you can create your catalogs and manage your resources inside that catalog. So hope you guys understood the concept of uh, entity management, uh, creating resources inside those catalogs. If you have uh, Understood, please like the button below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys